Another episode of Love and Black with Tori and Terry. Of course, I'm Tori. And I'm Terry. Welcome. Happy Friday to you. We're glad you're here with us. We got a good show. We sure do. Hey, speaking of shows, good shows, we had a great show last week with comedian Marcus D. Wiley. The responses. Oh my God, the responses. People were hitting us up like, that was such a good show. It was good. And he's funny, isn't he funny? Yeah. He's so funny. I love him. I, I, you know what? Um, just as much as they liked him, they really enjoyed the content because we were getting oh, yeah. responses about the content as well. So today we have another similar topic, but not that's what we're all about. We're gonna keep that coming. <laughs> yes, yes, yes we are. This is where you get it right here. So tonight we're going to be talking about should you stay with a cheater? <laughs> What's that for? <laughs> so <laughs> you guys know me, yeah. I know, right? Let's get it into it. So. Uh, we want to first welcome our guests today. Uh, they'll be coming on a little later, but our first guest is Bonita Ledette, and she's the owner of A Unique Heart out of Houston, Texas. Mm, and then her. we have both pastors, uh, Ron and Rachel Wilson. Mm. They're out of North Carolina, so they'll be joining Dynamic us later couple. today as well. Yeah. He's saying today is tonight. Good yeah, grief, uh, yeah tonight. Mean. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> hey, it goes so fast, but this is a thing. Uh, They've got a conference coming up, you guys. Dynamic couple. I mean, yep. anointed, blessed, and so fully talented. We'll get into that. What I mean, what's happening? We've got so much going on, trying to keep everything going and everything in order. What's um, going on with you, honey? How you feeling? Hey, I'm making it. You know, I can't wait, you know, till we get out of here, we we'll go get some dinner or something. No. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this topic that we have tonight, uh, you know, in doing counseling, we experience a lot of infidelity, right? And, you know, it's weird because a lot of people think that infidelity leads to divorce. But actually, it's funny that infidelity is like the third um, option for divorce, uh, with number one being communication and number two being finances. So uh, it ranks a, a high number three. But you would think that because you violated that personal trust, violated the, the sanctity of your marriage, that it would be number one, but people seem to work through it. You know, I, I just, I have one question, and that is why can't people be monogamous in a relationship? What is it? You know, so I mean, just strictly monogamous. Yeah, I, I, I think. You take uh, vows, whether it's relationship or marriage. I mean, I don't get it. Yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with, one, the way you're brought up. So if the parents didn't sow into the, the children and the children saw a lot of things that happened uh, throughout their childhood, that could be one of the reasons. Another reason is just people being selfish. That, yeah. I think I think that, <laughs> look, ding, 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 ding. I think that's, yeah. yeah. So uh, being self, selfish and uh, a lot of the reasons that we hear in counseling is that there was a lack of communication. Well, I believe that if they had spoken or talked more and talked about things that mattered instead of maybe superficial things, that maybe the infidelity wouldn't occur in the first place. But it, I mean, someone's got to spark it up because it, it, they won't know. Your, your partner will not know. Yeah. It's up to them to communicate and say, hey, I'm feeling a disconnect. I need to get closer to you. I, I, you know, I want to be able to share with you. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something. So hmm. with, with somebody cheats like that in, in a relationship, um, even if it's one time, do you believe that the relationship is dead at that time, or um, you know, could it be resurrected? I really believe it is up to the individual. You know, like you said, we get a lot of that in yeah. um, you know in our counseling, and um, it varies from client to client. You know, I mean, some have the wherewithal 
you know, to, to work to through it. Through, yeah. Some are just like, you know, you've got your deal breakers. And I mean, I'm all for deal breakers. You need to know your deal breakers going in and you need to stick to them because you teach people how to treat you. And yeah. so when you are true to self, then that speaks volumes. And I mean, maybe that's, you know, you never know. I, I was, I tell clients all the time that what doesn't, you know, kill you makes you stronger. But that doesn't mean go test it, y'all. When, when you but. just said, <laughs> when you just said that we teach people how to treat us, so if someone cheats on their mate, does that mean that okay, well you taught me that's what you do, so I'm gonna go out and do it too? Do you think that's no? What I mean happens? that's just silly. That's just silly because that's just compounding the problem. Yeah, yeah, it's compounding it, and yeah. that's not God driven. We want to keep it God focused, and that's what you want to do. You want to operate in Christ. So my mm -hmm. answer to that is draw near to Christ, pray, and seek Him for go. the answers of how to respond and how to move forward. Don't don't be distracted. Stay rooted in Him. Now, having said that, we're going to uh, come back to the show, and we're going to bring in our first guest, Miss Bonita Ledet, I'm sorry, uh, when we come back. Don't go away. Have you been injured in an 18-wheeler accident? truck accident, car accident, was someone texting and ran into the back of you, not paying attention? It doesn't matter what it is. Give me a call, Attorney Willie Powell's. We'll fix it today. The number is 281-881-2457. Again, that number is 281-881-2457. We'll fix it today. Call Attorney Willie Powell's. Ron Carter Cadillac, Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, delivers test drives to your home or office. Enjoy a $9,500 purchase allowance and own the iconic new 2020 Escalade for only $879 a month with just $1 down and no payments for 120 days. Only at Ron Carter Cadillac, Gulf Freeway, just two minutes south of the Beltway. Visit roncartercadillac.com. When it comes to protecting yourself and your partners, all the information out there can be overwhelming. Visit our website. We are a free and confidential service striving to help you stay informed and stay notified. We are committed to a healthy Houston. In this coming election, voters 50 plus will make the difference in elections across the state. The time is now to make a plan so you can vote how you choose in this coming election. Eligible voters can vote by mail-in ballot, and all registered voters can vote safely in person early or on voting day. Don't wait, make a plan to vote today. For more voting information, head to aarp.org. I'm Tina Nose Lawson, and I'm a proud voter. So we're back. So we were talking before we left the break about cheating and what really? it means to the relationship. So a lot of people, you know, they tend to stay with their mates even at even after they've been caught multiple times. Yeah, it's real toxic. Yeah, very toxic. I mean, especially when it comes to love. Now, speaking of love, let's switch that conversation. I know we're going to come back to it. You know we are. So let's just let's switch it up for a minute. We have two guests today, two guests that are with us. And the topic that we're going to discuss today is love. This is Love in Black. We're going to talk about the matters of the heart, which is love. Right, honey? We're going to talk about love. But as I always say, love is just an emotion. And kind of don't want to get to the why. Why do I love you? Oh, yeah. That's you know? good. That's big. That's huge. And rich. But, uh, you know, for those of you out there that know me, you know I'll say when I ask a couple, hey, why do you want to be together? He says it all the time. 100% of the time, it's because I love her, because I love him. Well, again, it's you can fall in and out of love, but yes. what's your why? Why are you there? Why are you married to this person? And if you're going to do all these things that are you know, unbecoming of a husband or unbecoming of a wife, why even stay? 
Right. So what's your why, why is bigger? It's bigger than the love because sometimes you like kind of fall out of love. I mean, you know, you got your moments, you're challenged and stuff. Yep. And so that why is what keeps you home. I remember that TD Jakes where he's like, you just gone in the house. You get home and just gone in the house. Well, our first guest tonight, uh, she is the owner of a company called A Unique Heart, and all she exudes is love. All she talks about is love. love her. The first time we we, we spoke. Hopefully we can get a word in this time. But the first time we spoke, she just had us rolling, like, and she was telling light. her story. She's such a light, such a light. You guys hear us say that when we say a person's such a light. I mean, you know, light just outdrives the darkness. And we recognize it on people. We look exactly. for it, you know, and we pick up on it really quickly. And we we experienced hers at the moment of hello. Exactly. So we want to welcome to uh, you guys, Miss Mrs. I'm sorry, Benita Ledet. Good evening, Benita. How are you, my dad? Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? Good. We're good. We're good. Girl, where you going all that gold on? Give me some. Listen, listen. It, you know, it's Friday night. Uh, you know, I'm in the mood. You know, I think I just. Uh -oh. just you look lovely. <laughs> so is, look it, lovely. Is, is it safe to say you're in the mood for love? Absolutely. All, all, the, day, all the time. All the time. <laughs> That is awesome. That's good. I like that. Yeah. That's right. Hey, I, I hope you didn't mind me sharing with the audience that uh, the first time we met, you were really, you, you just took off and you was telling us about Wonderful. your story. You were telling us about, she was about love. You were very excited. And we appreciate that because we love that enthusiasm. And as counselors, I mean, we're bringing couples to Christ as kingdom couples. And, the, you know, you just heard us, I don't know if you heard us mention uh, on backstage there, but where we were talking about instead of love, what's your why? You know, when you're talking to people about love, do you ever ask them, what's your why? Yes, I do. You know, I, I try to tell people all the time, it's way beyond emotion. Mm -hmm. way beyond emotion. Thank you. Can I get you to do Check. a drop for us? Because Check. I say that all the time. I mean, I say it all the time. And, you know, we can be in a room with a couple that has been going at each other's throats, right? mad for days and when i ask why are you guys here why are you guys here why do you want to be married because we love each other so what does love really look like i'm gonna ask the love expert love the gets love tested guru. love gets tested <laughs> yes okay so <laughs> love does get tested and you do fall in and out of love um you can actually like somebody today and not like them tomorrow mm -hmm. um but, but because love exudes all um you find a way to make it work gotcha. you find a way to make it work and so when you're building um up your your future with your mate you are building it on a legacy and the generation behind you so it is worth the love it's worth putting in the love so you actually uh wrote Beautifully a self-help journal as well is that all about love or what well, can you yeah. tell us about that Yes, I, I self-published um, a book called um, The Self-Love Journal, and it is around women rediscovering love for themselves. Mm -hmm. And when you rediscover love for yourselves, you are re rediscovering your self-love for yourself, your mm -hmm. self-worth for yourself, your self-actualization for yourself. You got to see yourself in the moment of what you want to manifest. Mm -hmm. If you can't it then you can't achieve it that's right oh say it you're preaching you're preaching <coughs> Excuse me. friday night preaching that's exactly what this is let me ask you something if i may yes was that always your opinion has that always been something that you lived was there something that you overcame and that's how you arrived at this how has that been for you to i mean because i know god gave it to you so he had to give you something as a breakthrough or something right so <laughs> I am the oldest sibling of all of my siblings. And so I helped my mom. She was a single parent. I helped her raise all of my brothers. I actually, when I, my husband, um, he already had um, three children. So I married into a blended family. Uh -huh. So I put myself on the back burner for all those years, for over like 20 something years. And so I didn't live my dreams and my goals. So I know what it feels like to put yourself on the back burner. So once, like around maybe early in my early 40s, a light bulb went off. 
And God, I had been doing this for the last 20, 30 years anyway, but then God just started speaking to me saying, you need to bring this to fruition. Women, women need this. Women need to know what you've been doing behind the scenes. And so that's when I started to put everything together. But me personally, I know what it feels like to put yourself on the back burner. So when I begin to love myself more Mm -hmm. and to let God guide my steps and order my steps, that's when I realized that I had something that I had to share with the world. You know, have you ever heard the term the burnt toast syndrome? That's exactly what it is. It's like you give everybody the good golden toast and when the one that burns, you're like, well, I'll just I'll just eat that one. It's and always a- putting everybody before yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you know, Benita, uh, in saying that, I believe also that if you don't love yourself, you can't how can you love someone else? No. Okay. Right? Do you have a rationale behind that, be- behind so many people that are hurt, that are devastated inside, but they share their love and and all of them with everyone else yes um i you know god he's let me tell you he's just amazing and he will oh, yeah. tell you exactly what to do all you have to do is just listen to him and mm-hmm. so in my quiet moments i begin to journal myself and ask god how can i help these women how and that's when i developed the product love in a box because okay. God said, you've got to show the women what to do. Some women don't know what to do. You got to yes, show them. Yes, and yes. So I said, okay, God, what, how do I show them? And he said, begin to journal and give, share your experiences in the journal and then give them uplifting um, affirmations and, and let them check in with their own feelings. Because if you don't get your feelings out on paper, then you will never deal with it straight up. You got to do the work. Yes. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. You say that all yes, the time. Yes, oh my you God, that is so true. I'm going to get my fan in a work. minute. I'm going to get my fan. <laughs> Listen, they call you, you're known as the love guru. Um, what is it? The, the love coach, the um, heart healer. And so with what you were just saying, I mean, that goes perfectly. I mean, how does that, what, what do you think and how does that apply? I mean, what, are, how do you, what do you think? How do you explain the difference between the three being that they've called you all of these different titles? So they call me the love connector because everywhere I go and everything I do, I'm always connecting love in everything I do with people, organizations. Like, for instance, if I know that there's someone who could benefit Terry and Tori, I'm going to connect you. So I'm the love connector. I'm, I, 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 I like sharing space to see everybody win it. That's you right. You know, there's everybody. Our Father in Heaven is rich, and I, I believe in mutual beneficial relationships. So I believe that we all can win. And then they call me the heart healer because after you do the work, I guarantee you, you will see the results. Mm. You see the results. We just had a young lady that had her heart had been hurt and she went through a bad divorce and um after she did the work for like almost a year when we saw the results and i interviewed her on my uh, one year anniversary a couple of weeks ago we saw her do the work we saw the difference in the confidence that she brought in herself we actually took her on a and we gave her a makeover we oh. did we got her hair done we got her uh, we took her shopping we got her a makeover with the makeup stylist uh, and we did a, a photo shoot. So wow. just that one day, that one day changed her confidence and no one will ever be able to take that experience away from her ever. That's beautiful, hey, I have two beautiful, questions. bravo. I have two questions for you. One, do you offer that package for men? <laughs> Absolutely. That's a good I'm question. Telling, That's a good question. Listen, I believe in love for everybody. I am actually working on the the uh, love in the box for men right now. I, mm. I am, yeah. It is. That was it is my second good. question. Just in time for the holidays, right? Yeah. That yes. was that was my second question. So I wanted to ask. We received your box, and oh my god! It, I'll say, hey, this is <sighs> just for her. It's not for me at all. I was like, go look, back to my I office. kept going. Ooh, ooh, because it's a treasure chest. It is a treasure chest. And oh, my what, God. What was funny about it, she kept saying, there's more. She was like lifting us. There's more. You know, and the experience with that, if I may, because, you know, a lot of things that we go through in our past shape us for our future. I always say that. And the last time that, and 
Well, actually, I did get something. I think it was like mm, 2014, I received a birthday gift that was a care package from my mother that just kept going, kept going. But the, the time that I really remember being, a, being able to relate to the idea was a kid at camp had a big trunk sit with cookies from my grandmother and all these different things. And so it's so neat because my love language is gifts. And yeah. so to see that box, I mean, I also, even though it's my love language, I like to do the same thing in presentation and the gifts that I give others. And that box, she the, does. the box, you guys, the box says somebody loves you. You guys know Patti LaBelle, somebody loves you, babe. And to see that on there, I was like, ooh. I mean, it was Valentine's Day in September. Yeah. And as for me, I just store it in a bag and put the tissue paper in there. And she was like, no, no like, that's not how we do it. Give it here. Let's get this she right. She would go I to one of those everything. stores and buy the box for 30 bucks for a $5 gift or something. So, it's the thought. <laughs> it's the thought. <coughs> that's so funny. much goes into it. It shows that you really took time and you care about the person. And that's exactly what your love in a box does. I mean, yeah. can you tell us a little bit more about it? Do you have yes. one handy? <laughs> yes, absolutely. I have plenty on hand. I am ready to serve and uh, do the element of surprise. I, even this week, um, the love in the box has been such, has taken off so much. And I thank God to where I've even customized a few. We I especially delivered one to a um, Nigerian pastor from the request from Nigeria. And I specially delivered it to her, gave it, gave her some roses along with it and hand delivered it straight to her front door. And those type of moments just make me just exude, just feel, just feel the love because um, she will never forget that birthday ever, that's ever. Beautiful. You know, and, and I, that's what it's all about. And the love in the box is just to remind you that you are loved no matter what you're going through. I mean, this year has been a, whew, it's been a year, you know. Yes, it um, has. A challenge. I, that was going to be my next question. The pandemic, is it helpful? Because I'm sure you've blessed so many. That's sewing yeah. on your part. You are really yeah. sewing, huh, honey? Oh, yes. Yeah. Are you selling these boxes or how, how, can, how can women get one? Yes, I am selling it. You can go to my website, uh, auniqueheart.com. A unique That's good. And I'm ready to ship, ship all over. Yeah. So you mentioned earlier about being a love connector. You're not a matchmaking service, are you? Listen, that's that is my ultimate goal. Oh, that is wow. my ultimate goal. Because wow. uh, the reason why I'm doing the boxes for the men, because after I see the men that want to work for the boxing and I've seen the women that's done the work, now I can connect the two. Wow. There so we need go. to have a, another segment yeah, you'll have with to you come on back. It, where we you have know. some singles that are looking for love. Yeah. And even with yeah. this here, this is good because the whole thing is, remember what one of the things Benita said at the beginning, you got to do your work. So if you yes. want this love to come in your life, you got to be prepared. You got to be equipped so you can, you know, get yourself right, get your head right, get your heart right, your spirit to receive what God has for you. Exactly. Absolutely. Wow. Yes. And I have one more I, question. I have one more question. I, so being that you, I, so in, in counseling, I am designated, or I've, I've actually just deemed myself. The fun fairy. I'm the love fairy. <laughs> and so, uh, what is it? You're the love fairy, right? Fun fairy. Fun fairy, I'm sorry. I forgot that quickly. I'm the fun fairy. So I give all of our couples the, the fun sexual things to do, the loving, you know, date night, all these different things that I do, you know, when it comes to me giving that a part of the homework. But with you being like a love angel like you are and just being such a light, and spreading so much and sowing into others. How do you call her out when you and your husband have a disagreement? How do you kind of like, come on, I'm gonna need you to show up right now. How does that side of you, that alter ego or whatever it is, how do you implement that? Or when does things your alter ego tough? take control? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. The one thing about me is that I keep it real. No matter what the situation is, I'll tell people that, listen, if I, like if I know that I'm getting ready to say something that might be offensive, I'll say, listen, love comes in all types of forms. What I'm about to tell you is tough love. And the tough love is because I love you and I, and I see, I see what you can't see. Mm -hmm. And I just want to bring the best out of you. God's given me the gift to bring the best out in you. So when I tell you this, don't get offended, receive it 
and and just kind of marinate on it for a minute. And I, if you just trust me, God shows me what to show you. If you just trust me and trust God, I promise you, you will see the results. And that's pretty much what I do. And then I go into my spiel of what I need to tell them. And it's tough love. But I listen, everybody that I've had this experience with, they always come back and say, thank you so much. I'm so glad I listened. That's good. Do they say, what just happened here? I was, I was mad at you. <laughs> right. And I thought you were about to cuss me out. And then you start talking this love stuff. Do you <laughs> even use that with your husband? I mean, when you're about to, you have a truth moment and you're about to tell him oh what you feel. Oh my God, yes. He, he gets it more than anybody. Uh -oh. <laughs> I mean, you know, but you know, when you have your profession, like for instance with us, I could never like use a statement or something because I could hear him or if him on me because it's like ah don't come no, don't 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 put your counselor hat on does he ever come with you like that like I need Benita not right now I need Benita, I mean I need you know my wife not Benita Ledette you know that's the a love, love yeah. the love guru yeah <laughs> has he ever yeah. just I mean you know what I mean has he ever just kind of said come on back bring it down yeah. it's us yes all the time all the time because like let's just say we're in a, a um conversation right and we're watching TV because a lot of times we get into the conversation even like last night we were watching um, we were watching the the show uh, with uh, Marcus uh, Wally we, we were watching that and we last were getting week. to yeah yeah that was last week yeah, yeah. And, uh, we were watching it and uh, he said um, uh, he said what do you think about what he's talking about I said I think that he's uh, he's he has very good content Mm -hmm. You know, and so then we got into the conversation. He said, okay, I need you to not be the heart healer right now. I need to know how Benita feels about this. <laughs> and so then I began to just answer his question. But all the time, all the time, he'll say, Benita, I just need you to answer this. And you yeah. know what people don't, what people don't realize is when God places a purpose on you, it is you. Yeah. Yeah. It is you and it's interchangeable. It is you. It's just another facet. We women are diamonds. It's a facet, another facet. Yeah, but you just said something interesting when he said he didn't want to talk to the other one. He wanted to talk to Benita. Yeah. My thing is, I don't want people to misinterpret us and even you as mm -hmm. we are one way, one, you know, in front of one audience, but then another way off camera this or, or anything. Uh, to our audience, this is the way we always are. What you are. see is what you get. Exactly. And those that know us know. Yeah. yeah. So we we <laughs> really don't we really don't change the counselor to the Mr. And Mrs. Smith hats. We really don't. We we're the same way each way. How do you incorporate that? Because obviously your husband recognized something that he said, okay, uh uh, I don't want the love answer. I want your answer. What's the difference? The difference is he's been knowing me over 30 something years. Mm -hmm. So he knows me in and out. And so he knows that if I give him a particular answer, he'll like, okay, we'll break that down. And then he'll say, okay, after you break it down, okay, that's the answer that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure it's coming from you and not from a unique heart. Right. But what's the Reducing how do you separate yourself form. from each from those? Because it's not like you're an actress or something. I mean, that's your life. That's a thread of you. That's part of who you are. Right. Right. I think that, um, like, like, like uh, Terry said, when you know me, you know me, and like you know, it's like we don't put on any facade or anything. We we are just genuine, genuine good people, and so. Uh -huh. He, he knows he, he knows me in and out so he knows if what 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 we're discussing if it's straight from me which norm, normally it is it's really kind of hard to separate the two because everything I do is around love anyway so when we're having a conversation it naturally me is going to come out anyway okay you know and another thing that you can uh, when I think of that my husband and I teach all the time that we're always evolving. So when you say 30 years, you're not the woman that you were 30 years ago and you've done your work, right? So your answer is going to change because you are growing. So your responses have grown just the same. So the way you respond to something today is not the way you would have necessarily responded 30 years ago. You know what I mean? So I think that him knowing you and growing also with you, I think he recognizes that, but he just needs maybe just that good assurance that you're still you're still my girl you're still you yeah. know yeah. you're still my ride or die so one last question and we got to answer real quick because we're up against the break what okay. advice would you give someone looking for love Ooh, good one 
My advice that I would give to someone looking for love is to know your self-worth first. When you know your self-worth first, anybody that you're looking for is an added bonus to you. Exactly. They can't complete you. You know your worth first, and then you'll know what to attract for yourself. That's great. That's it. That's good. That's yeah. it. Love right. in a box and love in a word. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be right back after this. Don't go away without something good. Ron Carter Cadillac, Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, delivers test drives to your home or office. Like the new 2020 XT4 Premium Luxury, only $359 a month. The new 2020 XT5 Premium Luxury Collection, $399 a month. Or the first ever 2020 XT6 Premium Luxury Collection, just $499 a month. All for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase and choose 0.9% APR for 60 months plus $1,500 bonus cash. Visit roncartercadillac.com. I'm a Texas voter. And I plan to vote by mail-in ballot. I'm a Texas voter. And I plan to vote safely in person. I'm a Texas voter. And I plan to vote early. I am a Texas voter. And I plan to vote safely in person. In this coming election, voters aged 50 plus will make all the difference. We'll make the difference. We'll make the difference. We'll make the difference. We'll make the difference in elections across the state. So make a plan now. So you can vote however you choose. It doesn't matter where you vote how you vote or who you vote for. What matters, what matters, what matters, what matters is that you have a plan to vote. For more information, head to aarp.org slash tx. Vote. 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 Di balco. Or vote na mat bhuli ga. Vote. 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 Ngoi hoi thao piu. In this coming election, voters age 50 plus will make the difference in elections across the state. The time is now to make a plan so you can vote how you choose. In this coming election, eligible voters can vote by mail in ballot. And all registered voters can vote safely in person early or on voting day. Don't wait. Make a plan to vote today. For more voting information, head to aarp.org slash tx. I'm Chloe Dow, and I'm a Texas voter. When it comes to protecting yourself and your partners, all the information out there can be overwhelming. Visit our website. We are a free and confidential service, striving to help you stay informed and stay notified. We are committed to a healthy Houston. God bless you, God bless and we you. greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Ronald Wilson. And I am Rachel Wilson. And we are the pastors of Kingdom Vision Life Center in the great city, Greensboro, yes. North Carolina. g -Burrow in g -Burrow. the house. <laughs> we are here to yes. invite you to be our special guest to our marriage slash single seminar oh my god 2020. 2020 it has finally arrived it has finally arrived the moment we've been waiting for anticipating married couples y'all better get ready this yes. will be and it's going to kick off september the 18th through the 20th yes at 7 p.m Absolutely. nightly on facebook live listen yes, yes. we have some power hitters we have some great voices in the kingdom of god we have Apostle uh, Mike Freeman yes, and his God. wife, Ooh, Dr. From Baltimore, Didi, Maryland. From Baltimore, wow, Dr. Come on, Freeman, it's gonna be Spirit on. of Faith Christian Center. Yes. You know them from Marriage Made Easy. They're here to make your marriage easy. And we also have ourselves. Yes. Yours truly, Yours Ronald truly. Wilson. <laughs> from Marriage on the Rocks. Thank yes. God for that. Yes, and you know we're we going to bring it, y'all. You know we're going to bring it in the Those of you spirit. that love praise and worship, we have great praise and worship each night from Marette Brown-Clark, also yes, yours truly. Absolutely. Uh, my we're wife, excited. Rachel Wilson. Thank Don't forget for about that. the exclusive Zoom sessions. We have some exclusive so, Zoom sessions. Now, exclusive mean exclusive. That's right. So, ex 
for the married couples, it's gonna be exclusively just for us. Okay? Not on Facebook so Live. So singles, you can't be a part of that. However, you are part of this year's seminar. So we also, I believe we're gonna have some exclusive single sessions as well. Absolutely. So it's gonna be so awesome. It's gonna be so cutting edge, so on and popping. You don't want to miss. I'm telling you that now and it's gonna Absolutely. be crazy. Absolutely, so yes. we encourage you and all of your family and friends to visit the website right now kingdomtodaygso.com yes. to register come on and register. register is not mandatory but it is encouraged absolutely please visit the website right now and register we have registration $25 per couple. Come on now. The, our registration is so cheap this year, y'all, that you can go pay for a whole nother couple to be a part this year. Likewise, for our singles. $25 per couple, and then I believe it's $10, $10 a single. Per and single. And then it's $5 free teen or teenager. Kids are free, of course. Yes. Register now yes. and help us spread the message of love and family yes. and promote the kingdom of God. Please do it now and watch your marriage and your single living come to the next level. God bless you. God bless and you. And we will see, see you, you there. there. See you there. Attention all married couples and singles. Join us this year for our virtual marriage seminar 2020 hosted by pastors Ronald and Rachel Wilson. The theme for the marriage seminar is a meeting at the well. John chapter four verses one through 30. Along with Pastors Ronald and Rachel Wilson, this year's guest speakers are none other than Apostle Mike and Dr. Dee Dee Freeman, pastors and founders of the Spirit of Faith Christian Center and Marriage Made Easy Ministry. Our featured guest psalmists are our very own National Gospel Recording Artist, Rachel Wilson and Marette Brown Clark. There will be exclusive date sessions for singles and exclusive date sessions for married couples on the Zoom platform. We will also have nightly sessions on Facebook Live for all audiences. For married couples, the registration is $25 per couple, $10 for singles, and $5 for teens or preteens. To register and for detailed information, you can visit our website at www kingdomtodaygso.com This is a marriage seminar you don't want to miss and hope to see you there. Okay. Hey, we're back and we've been talking with Mrs. Bonita Ledette from A Unique Heart and we have one more question before we bring our other guest on. Bonita, uh, you still with us? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> there you go. Hey, um, one last question for you regarding love. We, you know, we hear a lot of couples when they're upset with each other, and they say always say, um, you know, if you love me, show it or prove to me you love me. How can, how can someone, especially a guy, demonstrate our love without saying I love you? What mm. actions can be shown? I mean, I figure, hey, we keep the lights on, we keep the water running, we keep the uh, roof over our head. He would have to do that if fridge. he lived alone. Stop. <laughs> That's, that, I mean, that, hey, that's my, hey, this is my love zone right here. I'm showing you all these things. I'm giving you on a daily. But what would you tell someone else? Let me just say this to the brothers. Go on, girl. Give it to them. <laughs> the best <laughs> love that you can show your wife, your girlfriend, your special, your significant other, fiance, is to listen. Oof. Listen, listening is power. Yes. Listen to your mate when she's expressing her feelings, um, her wants, her dreams. Just in, in it could be just a general conversation. Um, it can be something as simple as, um, babe, um, I'm a little fried this week. I just want to take a ride to Galveston and unwind. That simple. Okay. Listen request so guys get your notebooks out let's see emotions check yeah or you know i need check. a massage my i'm just stressed and tense you know stuff like that exactly she's been Doesn't saying this to be, for a yeah, couple you know, nights hit, hit, hit. and i'm so sorry baby i went hit, to sleep hit, yeah I am no so sorry. you know we'll put it out there yep 100 hashtag 100 yeah. Hey, Benita, we, we really enjoyed our time with you, but you don't go away because we want you to chime in on our question of the day can you stick around 
Sure, absolutely. Okay, okay. great, great, great. Our question tonight. Hey, our, our, our next guest, they hail from North Carolina, and they are pastors of... Beautiful couple. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they are not only pastors, but they are also putting on uh, marriage, not just marriage, though, marriage and singles conference. And actually, it starts tonight. It starts today. Yeah. But uh, we wanted to bring them on anyway, since uh, you guys will be watching today, and you can tune in virtually on tomorrow or go back to it. So we want to welcome pastors... And we're not going to call them pastors on the on the show, but we want to welcome pastors Ron and Rachel Wilson. Team Wilson. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hello, 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 hello. Introducing Miss Benita to you all. That's Team Wilson, so you guys can see. It's kind of like the Brady Bunch with the windows. You can kind of look down at each other. Yeah. <laughs> we have enjoyed you. Amazing. Thoroughly amazing, enjoyed it. Amazing ministry. Thank you, thank Praise you, and God, yours thank too. You. Yeah. I mean, we commend so excited anyone to have that's, you guys. that's putting two couples together, and we're rebuilding God's kingdom here on earth. So we, when we counsel, we counsel from a kingdom couple perspective. What's what's your guys? What do you guys do when you're talking to couples? Absolutely. Um, first, thank you so much. We're honored and privileged to be on your show. Thank you so much. You're quite we welcome. Thank you. Enjoyed, uh, Thank you for coming. Certainly enjoyed Benita. Thank God beautiful, for that great beautiful. work that she's doing in the kingdom of God. Yes. Thank you so much. You're quite uh, welcome. Certainly, we certainly come from that same angle um, as kingdom perspective, because when it comes to marriage, couples, family, God is the architect. Yes. And we we uh we just point everybody to biblical principles. That's it, because you can't go wrong. If you do it God's way, marriage, family is 100% success rate. Yeah. Absolutely. That's right. That's, that's I'm what over we here say cheering you guys. I'm yes. excited. I'm like, yes, say, say it, say it. The foundation of any yeah. marriage, it revolves around Christ. And people, a lot of people just don't get that. But our right. audience members do. So that's why they love us and we love them. Because. That's the key. <laughs> that's the key because anything else is flesh driven and that doesn't last. You know, it's not sustaining. Christ. That's you exactly know, right. It's same today, tomorrow, forevermore. That's you know, right. yesterday, <laughs> that's our Lord. Hey, let me ask you guys something. I mean, um, you have so I love the fact that you include singles, you know, because we have so <laughs> many marriage retreats and so many conferences, and the singles are like on the sidelines, like, I want to be a part of that team. I want to have my own. How is it that you incorporate both, but still upholding the honor of the married couples? Because you know, you can mix them both can get a little Muddy. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? But how do you do that? And especially with the pandemic, um, you got to get kind of creative, eh? Yeah. Absolutely. We actually used to have uh, classes just for married, mm -hmm. and then we had classes just for single. Mm -hmm. But the Lord put on our heart to bring both together because there would be some things just in marriage that the singles will have to hear because they're not going to be single all their life. Absolutely. So it can help them yeah. better prepare for marriage, to hear the things married people go through, the reality of marriage, because a lot of times um, people, as far as my wife, she can explain it, a lot of women have what we call a Barbie mentality. Yes. And she have a conference, Unmasking Barbie, that she uh, talks to the women about, because women started out just almost born playing with Barbie and Kent, yeah. uh, having each other kiss, and they'll talk for Ken, and talk for Barbie at the same time, <laughs> But we grew up as men with Tonka trucks jumping out of swing sets, playing exactly. in sandboxes. Yes. We didn't they have marriage the, on our mind. Women had this grand illusion of <laughs> yeah. marriage yeah. and, you know, the horse-drawn carriage and everything since childhood. Well, because of all of the, like, the Disney yeah. princesses, you know, all of the cartoons and, I mean, all of the animation, everything was the prince and the princess, right? So it was like this Absolutely. fairy tale. Yeah. yeah. Fairy tale, happily ever after type of story, no problems. Uh, Ken didn't have to use the restroom, but <laughs> when we grow up and see that marriage is real between two real people, it gets real then. And my wife definitely have a great conference with Barbie uh, uh, once a year with the uh, Unmasking Barbie, so she can probably talk from that perspective as well. Please do. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, the, my primary thing that governed me with the passion to do the Unmasking Barbie is because I always say this, I'm the first black Barbie that God, and I'm not the first technically, but you know, just in general speaking, I'm one of the black Barbies that God began to unmask. Mm -hmm. And um, because mm -hmm. I came up with that false perception of 
this happily ever after life. And as a young lady, very rare, I grew up as a young lady desiring to want to marry a minister, you know, not an NFL player, not this model, not this uh, NBA player, not this lawyer. I wanted a minister. And so um, with that perception, even wanting a minister, I think is very, very, it's a really false perception in that because just because your spouse is a minister doesn't mean they don't bleed, don't mean they don't argue, don't mean they don't get on your nerve. I'm like, who did I marry? I thought he was this perfect minister. He is getting on my last nerve, you know, I'm just being honest. And so for my life, uh, 20, going on 24 years of marriage, God had to number one, primarily unmask me from the unrealistic expectations. So I have lived the life really, and is still living the life of understanding that women, we have a false perception as a child that Barbie raised us, you know, the false reality raised us, it raised me. And that's what caused me to put the pressure on my my husband unrealistic expectations had i not had that uh false perception you know i got a i got a my man good my man all right but because of the barbie fantasy that i had he couldn't do anything right his shoes is on the floor you're not helping me do the dishes i mean it's just like my mind would gravitate to more negative things rather sure. than all of the great phenomenal things he was doing yeah. so um this collab with the singles and the married it is so amazing because the singles we've been single we know the pain of being single yeah. but we've also been married so the collab is for both sides even just of us the singles need to hear that when you get married you're gonna duke it out sometimes and i don't mean physically punching i hope some people do but we don't but um i mean you're going to argue you're not going to agree on everything you're going to fuss like us we we argued about bread i'm from the west coast <laughs> so we put bread in the refrigerator what my husband's from the port city yeah. yeah, and he put bread on top of the refrigerator. So our first argument was about bread. 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 You know? Who, are, who, eats, <laughs> who I'm over eats here like a bobblehead. I'm just like. Who eats cold <laughs> bread, though? Hey, I'm, you know, I'm glad right. you said all of that, uh, Rachel, yeah. because women, when, so when they the come park. to us, women are actually, so a lot of them are praying to fix their husbands, praying to God to Absolutely. fix their husbands. And what we tell them, no. That's not a realistic prayer. What you have to pray mm -hmm. on is to work on yourself. And then, like exactly. my wife says all the time, we teach people how to treat us. So they will see the way that you're married. Uh, they will see the way that you're reacting and, and responding to certain things or the way you your walk. And then they'll want to do the same thing pretty much through osmosis. Even if you're not telling them, they'll see it's just like having a Living friend that has example. a limp. And you, know, and you don't have a limp, but all of a sudden, you know, you develop a limp because you've been walking with your friend. So I'm glad you, you mentioned that earlier because a lot of people don't realize and understand that that you can't fix anyone. You have to work on yourself you first. So but that absolutely. just throws that whole Barbie mentality out the window there. Yeah. yeah, because, you know, this world isn't perfect. You know, you don't have the Barbie dream house. Uh, you know, I mean, you can, but it's going to get dirty. <laughs> it's going right. to yeah. have things happen to it. You know, hell's going to hit the roof and maybe punch us oh, in holes. Absolutely. And you know what, too, honey, if I can add to that, when you were saying, I mean, Rachel, this is the thing. You got, I mean, we tell people all the time, be sure you're sure. Because when you go yeah. in with the Barbie mentality, then you're not going in, you know, with the wisdom and the knowledge that you need to know. And it's important that we share that, like what like you're doing with your women's, um, with your women's conference, it's important that we reach one, teach one, you know, and we tell because not every Absolutely. young lady had a mentor or, I mean, I, I really promote mentoring, but n not every young lady had a mother or grandmother or somebody to really speak into them and prepare them for. And the men just the same. So entering into the sacrament, the covenant of marriage, we got to be sure we're sure. You got to know. You got to do everything you can to seek and get understanding. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, Ron, Absolutely. I have a question for you. Uh, and I know you probably yes, collaborated sir. with your wife, but the title of your conference uh, this weekend is called A Meeting at the Well. Now, does that yes. refer to Jesus meeting the woman at the well and introducing himself to the world, you know, pretty much who of who he is at the same time? Absolutely. Just like your wife just said, I'm a bobblehead over here now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. You definitely, uh, 
you definitely hit it out the park because um, the meeting at the well happened. We saw in the book of John, I believe it was chapter mm -hmm. four, uh, long verses. I think it was like what, verse one through 30, where this Samaritan woman comes uh, with her water pot to draw water. And normally um, in, in, in history, a trip to the well was uh, taken between at least two or more people. Yeah. But this particular trip, it was just this woman by herself. And she came to the well to draw water and she left at the well her water pot mm -hmm. and went back to the city with the whole well because of what the but Lord spoke into her life. That. Exactly. She yes. was filled. Exactly. She left a water pot and went back with a whole well. Yep. You know what, Benita, wow. you can speak to that. Now, Benita, you can speak to that woman <laughs> because you know the, the Lord, like we were saying, especially doing your work and listening to the Lord and seeking him and praying, he started to fill her up, right? So she started to, she was fulfilled, completely fulfilled. What would you say about that, Benita? I mean, you know, of course, hypothetically speaking, but if we were to go back, go back, in time, what would you say about that woman who received that that message from the Lord at the well? Well, you know, um, I would just say when when the woman received the message at the well, I, I would say it was almost like a, a instant divine moment, you know, like an aha moment, you know, like it might have it, it probably was always there. But at that time, that's when it began to just be like an aha moment to manifest. That's that breakthrough. That's that breakthrough. Yes. Yeah. 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 Hey guys, um, if you can tell us uh, about the conference this weekend, because I want to get into our topic of the day, why I had both of you guys and why we still have enough time. Oh, we could do time this all clock. night. You know we could. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> can you talk well, about the, the topic? Uh, yes. Again, the theme, like as you said, the theme is a meeting at the well. And it would be held um, for three days uh, via conf uh, social media, uh, Facebook Live. We're doing Zoom. We're doing conference calls. Um, we're going to have Apostle uh, Mike Freeman, uh, Dr. Mike and Dee Dee. Freeman. Yes. Yes. Love them. Uh, love, uh, them. love them. I live yes. in Maryland yes. for. Yes. Awesome. I live in Maryland for a number of years, so I, I I've seen them in action, and uh, they have marriage made easy. The uh, Yes, the, uh, conferences yes. that they do. I'm from California Absolutely. and I'm familiar with them. I've watched them over the years. <laughs> yeah, I'm familiar with yeah. them. Awesome, awesome, Wonderful. awesome biblical yeah. uh, Less couple. Bible teachers on marriage. We're going to have them with us. We're going to, of course, be doing sessions ourselves. Me and my wife, um, we're going to have uh, Marette Brown Clark Ooh, love uh, her. doing mm. uh, a psalmist as well as my wife. She's a psalmist as well. Ooh. She will be on. And it's, it's just going to be a lot of uh, breakout sessions and um, a lot of marriage and singles discussions. It's, it's going to be big. Yes. Yeah. And you and have something for the this? kids, just... too? Do you have something for the kids, yes. the children? Go ahead. Yes, absolutely. We also uh, invite strongly, and we're asking everyone to attend. Even if you're already married, your marriage is good. It don't matter what marriage, your marriage in the hood, it don't matter. We want everybody <laughs> to come and be a part I because it. I believe, especially today, married couples need to get plugged into all of the yeah. faith, the God, the anointing we can get to make it. But we do have the preteens as well. So we have our registrations. We have uh, preteens and teens of course and up um, is where we primarily like to talk because uh, we would like to say mature, you know, audience where they can kind of understand what we're talking about. But um, yeah, all is invited and we want to encourage everyone, the singles, the, uh, you know, those married couples, those that are struggling, those that's on the brink of divorce, don't give up. We want you to plug in. Even marriages that are thriving. Yeah, marriages that are thriving. Exactly. Yeah. So I, and we, hey, we just guys, want everybody to come be a part. Yeah. It's so we, we, we thank it's you guys for taking time out because I know you guys got to get back over there. Uh, since it started today, but uh, we have uh, we we do different topics here each week, and we have a letter that came in from a woman, and I want the want you guys three to of weigh you in on it, to can weigh you? in on it with us. Yeah. Okay. So okay. The letter is, dear Tori and Terry, I am engaged to the most wonderful man. He does everything in the world for me and my children. He has one slight problem. He has a cheating problem. He has cheated on me three times in our five year relationship that I know of and only found out about it because he is sloppy with hiding it. You know, lipstick on his shirt, numbers in his pocket. I mean, who collects numbers on paper anymore? I know what you're about to say, but I love him. What did I tell you guys about that? 
and he is an awesome provider. I just want to know why I allow him to mistreat me in that way. I want him, but I want him to stop cheating. Am I stupid for saying staying with this man that cheats on me? Ooh. <laughs> Where's my fan? I know that that was a hot one, you know. Ooh, you know, ooh. we counsel a lot of, of couples with uh infidelity issues and pretty much the common denominator be- between all of them is just lack of communication. They're, you know, the marriage is either, um, you know, not to where it's supposed to be. It may not even be grounded in Christ. So we've seen all types. Guys, what do you think about uh, cheating mm. with, uh, you know, this lady's engaged and she's been che- cheated on. Can you imagine what would happen if they were already married? So can you guys, Ooh. you know, talk to our audience about, about this? And we got about four minutes, okay? Oh, wow. You uh... Well, I'll say something on that. Uh, one of the things that me and my husband been very, um, you know, stern on is the area of covenant and contract. And so what I would like clearly want to say is beautiful young lady is that, you know, you have to really consider this, you know, you're an engagement, you're engaged, you know, this is the first steps for pre-marital. I married. I, well, engaged. Oh, She's okay. engaged yeah. to be yeah. married. Okay, and so married. you're at this first stage of pre-marital, you know, this is the first stage of uh, supposed to be covenant, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You haven't even made a covenant yet, but this is the first stage and the first stage is already being broken. The, co- the the first stage of covenant has already been broken. And so um, you have to look at this covenant or contract. What do you want to go into? Because exactly. I'm looking at it from the perspective of a kingdom oh, covenant oh, yeah. is inter- eternal. And exactly. so I would just want um, you to reconsider your decision because it's your life. Yeah. But Nita, give yeah. us give us uh, one answer on that. And from my perspective, um, I would say to the young lady, um, you got to love yourself enough to not allow that type of love. No matter. Is it love no, at all? That, well, exactly. Dysfunctional exactly. love. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Probably the only way to know. Yeah, it's <laughs> exactly. So you, she's got to love herself enough to allow, she's got to put her demands down. She's got to put her demands down and have enough self-respect for herself as well as him. Wow. And if can't honor the demands, then he's not the man for her. Exactly. What do you uh, yeah, think, Yeah, you know I got my, you know, y'all know. Um, real quick. So, hope you're not living together. I was going to say, I didn't hear anything about God in the letter. Um, I hope you're <laughs> worshiping together. So, these are bullet points. Definitely get your premarital counseling. Do not live together. And if you, you know, you can't see some kind of breakthrough in that counseling and him coming, you know, really with his truths, run. Exactly. And my last thing is, if your partner is cheating on you, whether you're married, engaged or not, it's a reflection on him or her, whoever's doing the cheating, not you as the one that's been cheated on. So don't think you've done anything wrong. Don't think that, you know, you're doing, he's or she is doing this because I'm not treating them a certain way. No, it's a reflection of them and not you. He needs the counseling. but yeah. I And I would have suggested that he get the counseling, but I want you to be present so that you can witness him coming forth and being rebirth, rebirthed and really claiming God, you know, can't claiming God first and starting to pray for you and himself. But you need to see that. If not, hey, you get to choose again. You get okay. to choose again, darling. Hey, we want to thank our guests for joining us tonight. Thank Guys, you guys. everyone, you have been fantastic. Good answers and great stories behind both of you guys. We love you guys with the love of Christ, and we love you guys with the love of Christ. Thank you so much for joining us. Blessings on the conference. So, so, so. Thank you so much, Benita. We love y'all. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next Friday. See you next week. Right here, same time. God bless. Bye. God bless you.